Chart of the Week with Redmain Bentley. You're listening to financialradio.co.uk. My name's Giles McMullen. I'm chatting to Bill Rook. Bill, we've got a few things to look at mm-hmm. this week, including gold and oil. Let's start mm-hmm. with gold. It's had a nice run over the last few days. Yeah, gold has been pretty perky over the last few days. Yeah, I mean, what we're looking at on gold here is, um, is a chart which is actually challenging the higher levels here. Um, so the, it's closing above its 200-day moving average. Which yep. is which is very good, yep. and I've highlighted that with a, with a circle there, so yep. you can see that on the chart that that's the case. Now the next the next challenge is going to be the October levels we're looking for. The, the October hoops, uh, those are around the 900 level. Now we're going through that now, which is very exciting. We'll close above the the horizontal green line, which means to say we're on a 60-day high. And within the uh, vertical um, circle there, we have a, another level of about 910, 913, which suggests that might be on a 120 high. Now, the two triangles on the uh, left-hand side of the chart there, the first one is 986, 15th of July, and the far one is the uh, made on the 17th of March, uh, 1012. So those are the levels we're sort of uh, aspiring towards. Now, why is it looking good from this chart? Well, Firstly, mental volatility is cooling off a bit now. That's measured by the average due range at the top there. That's cooling off. That's coming back, which is quite good. Um, the other thing that's very good about this is the green bars at the bottom, the short-term moving averages, are, are pointing the right way. So this is being supported by sort of uh, some technicals here, which is, quite, which, is, which, is, which is good. So there's something and behind there's, it. There's something behind it, yeah. I, mean, I haven't got volume on here, which is a shame, but uh, I think it's sort of given the uncertainty that we have around currencies, around market evidence in markets, there certainly will be an edge towards gold until you know, it's seen that the banking system is sound. And I think yeah. this is one of the things we've seen with when thing, gold has gone to its peaks when there have been troubles in the market. In the market. And this yeah. is what we've seen last year. Didn't, it was very choppy last year for gold, as you can see from the chart there. Very difficult to hold out throughout. Um, but I think it's a case for gold as part of a portfolio now. Yes. Okay, Bill. Let's move on to oil, um, which is the next one that you want to look at. Again... Uh, it's been trying to break out of its sort of low levels uh, for a little while now, hasn't it? Yeah, well, now this oil is still, if you compare that to the other chart we've just seen there, the, the bar at the bottom, the traffic light strip, suggests that oil is still in a bearish phase. Now, what I've got here is, is also volume on here, weekly volume. That's picking up a bit. This is interesting. Volume picking up, and we might see some consolidation there. Certainly range-bound, the... The horizontal line going across the charts about 50 levels, so expect that to be about 50. When that breaks, I think that will be very interesting. Between 35 and 50, we've got a sideways chart. But what is also interesting on this chart is this slope. It's the linear regression slope of the 21 days, and that's actually gone positive. Now, the last time this went positive, we had a nice run. We had a nice run back in uh, um, on the 20th of February 08, when that was 1908. That was a new high buy, 60-day high buy, and it worked very well. And that travelled through to the 18th of July, when it's 126.8. That's when that sort of that system stopped out. And you had a, on the 5th of August, there were the first, the, the, the uh, second vertical line to the, to the uh, right there. That's where the red arrow comes in there. That, that level there at about 112, 60 day low, 5th of August, that's when you go short on it, um, potentially. And then you get another confer- confirmatory signal, the unhappy face around the 400 day moving average. That's where you go uh, even further short if you're really aggressive. Right. That's a 180 day low. So I think it's a turning. Go, go, watch, this, watch this space. Oil could be turning, could be a run up to 50. There might be more in it yet, but it certainly, I think, is interesting at the moment. Okay, Bill, and finally, we're having a look at um, your next choice, which is CEY. That's the ticker. What's the stock? Sentiment Egypt. It's a, it's a penny play on gold. Right. So if you believe that the, and you can see there's, it, it's so many times you buy into shares and the, t- the volatility is too high. Uh, this one here is, is cooling off a bit and it's actually consolidating. We've actually had a stop on the uh, High, high low system and that suggests well we're in the neutral here volume at the bottom there has been picking up uh, this needs to break 44 45 where the 200 day moving average sort of provides uh, resistance for this one uh, in the box there and uh, against the sector it's pretty strong trending wise too early to say there's an awful lot there but it's certainly trying to but uh, this is a wait and see possibly speculative by saying about 45 it looks ready for a run Bill, thank you very much. Lots to um, digest there and lots of trading ideas. Thank you very much for that, Bill Rook from Redmain Bentley. Pleasure. Chart of the Week with Redmain Bentley.